hey guys welcome back to java collections framework series in previous video we understood why do we need collections framework in java in this video we are going to explore collections framework hierarchy in java all right guys so this is the java collections framework in-depth series so i am going to deep dive into the collections framework source code and i'm going to show you what are the important interfaces and classes that are, that are there in a collections framework all right guys so we basically uh, you know decompile a java.util package and we'll see this collections framework hierarchy in action with the source code so first we'll quickly go through the java collections framework hierarchy and bit later we'll deep dive into uh, you know collections framework hierarchy by looking into the exact source code of uh, you know the core package that is java.util package all right guys let's get started well a collection is a group of individual objects as a single unit let's say we have a student one student two student three so these are the group of student objects right so collection represents these group of individual student objects as a single unit let's take one more example let's say we have employee 1 and employee 2 employee 3 and so on so these are the group of individual employee objects right and collection represents these individual employee objects as a single entity or single unit so this is what the collection and collection framework it defines a several classes and interfaces which we can use to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity now let's take a look at java collections framework hierarchy so first we have a collection so collection is basically a root interface in java collections framework hierarchy and we have a list queue and set so these are the sub interfaces of collection interface and list queue set so these are the interfaces which extends a collection interface and look at here uh, here we have array list link list vector and stack so these are the concrete implementation of list interface all right so these are the commonly used implementation of list interface and here we have a set implementations like has set and linked has set so these are the two you know commonly used implementation of set interface and here we have sorted set interface so this is the purpose of sorting the elements in ascending or descending order so here we have tree set class which implement sorted set interface and here we have queue interface it has several implementations like priority queue is the common implementation of queue interface and here we have dq interface which extends queue interface and here we have array dq implementation class which implements dq interface so all right guys these are the commonly used interfaces and their you know implementation classes and we have map hierarchy Let's take a look into the map hierarchy separately so we have map interface it contains key value pair and there are uh, you know many commonly used map implementation classes like hash map is the most most commonly used class which implements map interface and we have linked hash map and hash table so hash table is a legacy class in collections framework hierarchy and we have sorted map so the purpose of sorted map is to sort a uh, map keys and values and we have tree map class which implements sorted map so this is the commonly used you know uh, map hierarchy guys now we theoretically understood the collections framework hierarchy now let's see how the collections framework hierarchy is implemented in actual uh, core java packages in an action let's go to the eclipse id and we have created java collections framework project in one of the previous video and this is the gre system library which is associated with this project and expand gre system library and within a gre system library you can find rt.jar file so rt.jar file it located inside a gre slash lib folder all right and rt.jar file contains all the core java packages and remember 
Java collection interfaces and classes are located inside a java.util package. Let's go ahead and let's search for java.util package here. Yeah, here we go. So this is a java.util package. So look at here inside java.util package you can see dot class files. So in order to view the source code of dot class files you need to install decompiler in Eclipse IDE. So I have already installed decompiler in Eclipse IDE so that I can able to see the source code of dot class files. So in order to install decompiler in Eclipse IDE go to the help and go to the Eclipse market and just search for decompiler and you can install decompiler in Eclipse IDE so that you can able to view the source code of dot class files. Alright, great. Within a java.util package, let's search for collection interface. So collection interface is a root interface in Java collections framework hierarchy. Alright, and it internally extends iterable interface which is for the purpose of iterating over a collection of objects all right and collection interface has many child interfaces right so let's search for one of the child interface that is list interface so this is a list interface and list interface extends a collection interface okay so if you look at the collection framework hierarchy list interface extends a collection interface and we are looking this same hierarchy in an action in actual source code of core java packages here list interface extends a collection interface and list interface has several implementation classes right click on list interface and open type hierarchy here you can see different classes are implementing list interface for example array list class so array list class extends abstract list which implements all the common methods and array list class implements a list interface and it also implements a different interfaces like serializable clonable random access etc okay and look at here the default capacity of array list is 10 and you can we'll learn more about array list in further videos and we have linked list class which implements list interface and linked list uh, basically internally uses a double linked list for the implementation all right and again we have different implementations like vector vector implements list interface and we have also stack now now this completes list interface and its classes now let's go for set interface let's search for set interface here so this is the set interface which internally extends a collection interface and set interface has several implementation classes let's see what are the implementation classes right click and open type hierarchy so look at here uh, has set is a class which implements set interface and we have linked has set which again implements set interface so these are the common concrete classes which implements set interface and sorted set is interface which extends set interface and sorted set has an implementation class that is a uh, tree set so that we can see by right click on this interface and open type hierarchy and here you can see A tree set okay so tree set internally implements navigable set and navigable set internally extends sorted set okay great now let's search for Q interface so look at here Q interface internally extends collection interface and Q interface has uh, implementation classes. For example, let's search for its type. So look at here, DQ interface 
uh, extends a Q interface and DQ interface has several implementation classes like array DQ okay and linked list and Q interface has an implementation class like priority Q okay so look at here Q interface has an implementation class that is priority Q and DQ interface extends Q interface and array DQ implements a Q inter a DQ interface so this is uh, the you know hierarchy so we have seen the hierarchy of collection uh, in an action in actual uh, you know jar file let's also look at the map hierarchy in a source code now let's search for map interface in java.util package so look at here map interface it stores key value pair and it does not extend collection interface so look at here the here are different implementation classes like hash map hash table so these are the classes which implements a map interface and we have a linked hash map which implements map interface and look at here sorted map which is the purpose of sorting keys and values of map and it has an implementation like tree map so this is all about the map hierarchy in actual uh, core java packages that that is java.util package all right guys we have seen what is a collection what is a collections framework and collection framework hierarchy and we also looked into the actual uh, interfaces and classes of java collections framework in a core java package that is dot java.util package thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in next video